This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Stay tuned to hear more. We got a gloss up, of course. <sighs> Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. We are now at my desk. This is a bit of a different angle than I usually film at. I haven't painted in so long. Last time I painted was either this movement painting or actually I think I did another painting downstairs, but I wanna do another one that's kind of similar. It's kind of a late night paint. So I'm gonna try to crank this all out in one sitting. I just went to the store and got two new canvases. I like this icing one. Sale. No, sorry. Icing. That was cute too. I like the small one. Yeah. Okay, let's go. For fuel today, got some snacks. Here is the drinky of choice. We have the matcha latte, which is pretty exciting. Today we got my favorite little cheesecakes and this tasty looking bread. I'm hoping this will be enough to power me through painting. But let's also talk about some actual materials I'm gonna use. We have my paint brushes, some paint. I'm gonna use the Liquitex brand. This is what I've been using for a while. Sometimes it's a bit sheer, so make sure you get the right kind for what you need, but these are the ones I use. And of course, canvases. This one happens to be heart-shaped, but you could really use whatever, obviously. Uh, so here are the options. We either have this heart one, which I've already done before. So I kind of want to do this one, which is such an interesting shape. It's like a little window. I really want to do something semi-monochrome because as you guys know, I'm in my monochrome era and I cannot say it enough. I actually tried to previously paint something, but it was a little bit too colorful for my taste and I just like didn't like it. I don't know why, but I'm always just super picky about colors and stuff. So we're gonna try again with a new painting and this time it's gonna be more toned down, but I wanna continue with my theme of painting things in flower fields because I really love that. And I've been wanting to do one that's just daisies daisies and clovers because I think that would be so cute. I've also been wanting to draw fish and I'm actually working on something behind the scenes that has fish in it, but that is beside the point. So today we're painting fish laying in a flower field, mostly for aesthetic vibes, but also I'm in a bit of a fish kick right now. Right now the time is currently 8 to 15. That time is wrong behind me. I apologize. Let's see if we can do this all in one night because I don't know, but you guys are going to be here along with me for the journey. I think it's pretty simple overall. It's just gonna be a lot of details and I don't mind doing details. What I do mind is making a lot of decisions over and over again. So hopefully this won't be that, but look how beautiful this shape is. You can see all the staples, nicely made canvas. This is not with wood, this is with like chipboard. I'm gonna get three fish sketched out on here and then we're gonna see where that takes us. But I'm really excited because I haven't painted in so long. I guess I can use a pencil actually because everything I'll be doing will either be gray or green. So let me grab one from here. Gudetama pencil, no lead, nice. Do these all have no lead? The little pink cherry pencil got lead. Um, so I wanna do like three fish. I'm kind of thinking of how I want these fish to look. Fatter fish. Maybe I'll make them cry. So now I'm just gonna mirror this on this side. I'm gonna bust out my tiny little Miffy eraser that I actually forgot I owned. Erasing on canvas is always super annoying. TY Miffy for your service. All right, so let's do some different patterns. This one will have little like circles. This one down here can be striped. I don't know what to do for the top one. I'll let the top two have circles. This one can have stripes. I'm gonna have a star up here. We've got it pretty much figured out for now. Much more inspired about this painting than I did the last one, super washed out what it is about fish. I think this is really cute so far. So I'm pleased. I feel like I get really stressed out when art doesn't go the way I either imagined it or the way I want it to, especially in the very beginning. So very happy that so far I am pleased with this. So let's get a dark green background. Well, it'll, it'll be like a medium green and then we'll do a very dark green at the bottom. Let's do the first snack break. We got drinky, tasty. I've been obsessed with matcha. I used to get the chocolate version of this, but now I always get the matcha one. So that's gonna sit here. And also, Loki, it's cheesecake time. Tasty. Alrighty, so I mixed up some 
dark green. It's definitely gonna need more than one coat, which I know because this color is super light. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna cover up these sparkles for now because I'm gonna have to re-add them anyway. And now we're just gonna paint. This is the last coat of the darkest green layer. And then after this one, I think we'll be able to do the next one. This low key is a dangerous combo to have so close to each other. Luckily, there's no straw in there, but when I tell you I high key have drank paint water before on accident, that's why if you have a straw in one of your drinks, I feel like you're less likely to do it. So that's my that's my pro tip for you guys. Keep them separate. Oopsie, made it a little bit too light. So now we're gonna add this semi darker color on top. Alrighty, we got the last layer of green going on. And I did adjust some of the other colors, but the color adjustment was actually a lot easier on this one. I'm trying to make it relatively simple. So now we got all these edges to paint. So now we have it looking like this. I think the gradient actually looks pretty good. I don't actually have to be too careful about how it looks. I wish there was a bar right here because I keep going to grab it and there's nothing there. So I did cover up a lot of the fish. As you can see, it's still drying because it's so shiny, but that's okay because we're just going to carve it in the back out. I overmixed so much green that I'm actually going to work on doing some of the clover parts because that was my original plan is we're going to do clovers and we're going to do white daisies. And those are going to be the literal only two flowers we're going to do. I I guess I also want to do some of these sparkles, so I'm gonna go ahead and map some of those out while I'm waiting for all of the layers of paint to dry. Okay, I feel a little bit nervous because this part actually requires a little bit of like precision. I'm just gonna map it out. Kind of forgot where I put all of them originally. I don't like this one. Can I scrub it off right now? Quickly before it's too late. Sometimes you can like scrub paint off if you do it really quickly. So these white little sparkles are going to need a couple of coats, obviously, but looking pretty good. It's me, Tori. We're stuck in Nozu. We need $30. Can you please bring it over? Now I'm going to do the super big one that I wanted to do at the very top here. Two little ones here-ish. Little sparkles are going to need a couple of coats, obviously. My plan is that I'm going to paint the little flowers like along the edges here, and then we're going to paint the fish, and then we can paint the flowers over here so that they are behind a layer and over a layer, if that makes sense. So they're like embedded within the field of flowers, you know, and it's coming together. I think it's looking pretty cute so far. I like the sparkles. Okay, so now let's paint the little fishies. I'm going to start by painting the darkest part, I think. Looks like I'm gonna need a couple coats of these, and then we'll shape them in a bit. And I mixed up a color for, I think this will be the middle stripe color. Block these in right now. Luckily, since I'm doing all of these with gray, it's pretty easy to get the colors right as long as I just get the tones because the colors are all just going to be gray with black. So now I'm just going to work on making these colors more solidified. Little progress update. We've made some significant progress. <gasps> Everything is filled in now, so there's no more canvas, which makes me very happy. I think it's looking pretty good. I guess the next step is going to be doing the black outlines. And then after that, we're just gonna fill in all the blank spaces, which I think is gonna be super satisfying and fun. But before we actually do the black outlines, let's talk a bit about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. You guys have heard me talk about Squarespace a million times, but if you guys don't know what they are, they are a website building platform and they're my personal favorite. And hopefully when I finish, this painting, I'll be able to put prints up on my website. And if you guys want to see what that looks like, I'll link it down below. Squarespace is one of the big reasons I've been able to make a living off of my art, and I'd highly recommend it for anyone trying to start your own business, whether it's art related or not. I love Squarespace's amazing commerce tools that really help you switch out your products, change your font, which I recently did on my website, and overall having a really seamless transition from selling to shipping to your products arriving at your customer's doorstep. Squarespace also has great SEO tools to help you get discovered online, so it helps your business grow even bigger. If you guys want to check out Squarespace for yourself, please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany 
Wang, and you can use the code Tiffany Wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get back into the vlog. Let's get into lining these guys. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm going to use a black paint with a little brush, and I'm going to go around and I'm going to outline all these babies. So then after, we can layer some stuff on top. I'm really excited. I have some ideas. I want to do a lot of stripage. Oh, I just realized I forgot some of the spots. We'll do that too, but yeah, overall, we're making progress. We're getting into the detail work now. And every day, when you're walking down the street, it's like every other day, because you're constantly walking down the street. And every day, I'm always thinking about you, and a lot of other important things, but primarily you. I think you're sweating. Eyeball time. Bro's getting an eyeball. Wahoo. And I really like the way this layering process usually looks. Also, these black outlines were a little bit difficult to work with because for some reason, paint quality was being very difficult and it was very frustrating to me. Another eyeball. Okay, snack number two has arrived. The tasty bread. We about to wombo combo it while in the middle of painting. Snack break, wahoo! First clover, and I'm just gonna put it right on top of his tongue. Now let's add some in the little outline. And I feel like this layering process just gives it more depth. Also, these black outlines were a little bit difficult to work with because for some reason, I don't know why, but it was just being very, the paint quality was being very difficult and it was very frustrating to me. Here is one example of what the fish look like without the little clovers on the bottom. And I'm gonna show you the after. So here is the before I do the layer. And here's what the fish looks like after I put all the little guys on there. I feel like it looks pretty good. And honestly, I think I'm done because I just added all of the different little flowers. I think the only thing left that I might wanna do is just add some of the yellow centers in these flowers because I just really love the way little yellow centers look so i'm just gonna go through and do that really quick and see how that looks taking a mini break right now just to admire some of the little items on my desk if you guys want to see i'll give you guys a little bit of a tour right now i don't know what this guy's doing right now the little we have my little bunny little red bean bread guy some little calicos and then some more even tinier calicos down here with my little mochi light and my tiny little tulips that i got from some calico babies but yeah. Oh, and the man, the myth, the legend, the one that holds my pencils, T-Y-S-M. Those are the babies on my desk, um, if you were curious, because I guess you've been looking at them for quite a while, but they got me through this painting process too. I stood these guys up. I think they were sitting down or laying down earlier. Um, but yeah, little desk update for you guys there as well. Overall, very cute items. Anyway, back to work now. Overall though, I'm honestly shocked and so happy with how much I like this. I just think it's so cute. I guess I could use a few more clovers up here, but we are so close to being done. I love them. I'm calling them fish in the grass. <laughs> um, that is my amazing, wonderful name for them. I did just do the flowers on the edges, so I'm low-key getting little pieces of paint on me, but let's add those clovers and those yellow centers and see how those look. I'm so tired, but I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so 
this used to be my favorite part. I'm gonna go ahead and add them to a good amount of the flowers. The dots are gonna look a little bit puffy for a bit before they dry down. It's okay, they're not gonna stay like that. I personally like my art to be very flat. I know that some people when they paint, they like the texture, but honestly, like I like the minimal amount of texture that it has, but I do overall like to keep my pieces very flat. So this is quite satisfying doing all the dots. When I used to do these flower paintings, Half the reason it takes so long was because I would use a normal paintbrush. I had to build up the layers and stuff, but I realized if I use a dotting tool and get the paint the right consistency, I actually won't have to wait for a million layers to dry like that. I have so much of this green paint left, so I'm just gonna slowly like work through it. All of these are gonna be four leaf clovers because these are going to be my good luck fish. Okay friends, we are officially done with the painting. <gasps> I think it looks cute. I'm quite happy with it. And I think it'll look really good with my other paintings too. So hopefully I can get a little gallery wall going and maybe we can see them all together. Okay, so here is the finished product. This is how it is looking. And despite it being super late at night right now, the lighting's actually still not that bad. But here is a closer look, the little sardines, or I don't know what this type of fish is. I'll have to look more into actual fish so that when I paint fish, it can look really cute, I guess. You know, for my first time, I think it looks cute. Never painted fish before and I don't know where it's gonna go on my wall. I guess I could put it over there for now and see how that looks. Let's just like try it, you know? There it is on my wall. So cute. I kind of want to see it with the other paintings I've done as like a fake little gallery wall. This is, I guess, theoretically what it would look like. I didn't want to include this one because it's just such a like repeat. I feel like it looks the same thing. I need to put something on that little thingy right there. So hold on. Here's a little guy kind of take up the space. Okay, so theoretically, hypothetically, here's a little gallery <laughs> looking part, but I just want to show it finished in context with like, I don't know, the rest of my stuff. But I seriously think that these fish came out so cute. It's a bit different than what I've painted before, but the concept was fun. I'm really enjoying fish right now, so maybe I'll paint something else fish related in the meantime. Theoretically, so many things you could put up here. I have this little plant you could live up there. I realized my sunny angels fit, which is really cute. So now we got a little scene up here. At the end of the day, I think this painting came out a success. I think it looks great. I like trying new things, but I don't enjoy when the things that I try that are new turn out bad. So overall, this fish painting is a success. Maybe we'll paint something a little bit pinker next time around, but I feel like this is a really nice like resting spot for the eyes. But yeah, we have these babies now. Now we have the fish painting in tandem with, of course, our other Moomin painting. We just have so many paintings, but I'm really happy my little collection is growing. It looks cute, it looks good. Sad little mouse, I wanted to put this guy with them. But there was simply just not enough space up there for him because he's just too fat for the little ledge, but he's cute. So I'm gonna show you little mouse man anyway. And you know, theoretically, I could also switch out the painting that was up here, the Moomin painting with the fish painting. It's kind of a vibe, like I'm not really mad at it. I feel like it looks kind of cute and it happens to go with that little lettuce print I have in there. So that's kind of cute. IDK, maybe I'll keep him there for a bit. It. Here's what's left over of my snacks. It's literally just this, but I've been joking with my friends that it looks like half of the bread is invisible and I'm like, why did they sell me bread that's half invisible? Like, that's so weird, you know? Haha, I'm very funny. I know, but this is really good actually. I was low-key wondering if it was actually gonna be like, if I could taste the chocolate or if it was just gonna be like vanilla and like food coloring type thing, but it actually does have chocolate flavoring in it. So when you get like a chunk of the chocolate flavored cake part, um, it's really good. So I would recommend this. I rate this honestly. I'd rate this like when it comes to bakery items, maybe I'd give it like an eight out of 10. Like it's pretty good. It's nothing like amazing, but you know, pretty tasty. So it was a pretty good snack to get me through this painting. QI for your service on this tiny little bread friend. You were good. I will eat the rest of you another day. Also, I found all of these canvases that, or I guess I bought the heart one, but I found this set of tiny ones that I've never used before. And we have this larger one. So 
I want to try to get back into painting because I had such a fun time when I used to do it. It's been a while and I feel like it'd be fun so comment down below if you guys think I should paint anything else or if you have any ideas for what I should put on these guys. Maybe fish related that would be cute or flower related IDK. Here are our options. I feel like we can make something cute with these you know. I don't have much more to say I guess because I feel like we've been spending so much time hanging out and talking about it but we are done with the fish in the grass. I think it's cute. Does the concept have any meaning behind it you may ask i wanted to paint fish and i like to paint flowers and i like to paint grass so i put the fish in the grass you know i overall like it i really like the shape of the canvas too i just think it looks so cute yeah there she is all done fish in the grass that was pretty much it for the video today i just really wanted to share this experience with you guys i just really wanted to paint something um i finished it all in one breath so that was honestly kind of crazy it took me eight hours i think to paint this according to my current math i'm gonna go to bed now but thank you guys for watching hanging out let me know what you think about the fish in the grass in the comments down below it was honestly just a silly little painting i wanted to do but i'm happy with it so yeah stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you guys when i see you guys bye everyone